Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, support the channel. We have a few haters behind the scenes that are trying to block this channel from growing, but by the grace of the most high, it'll get where it's supposed to go. So when I was doing this spread, oh my gosh, the juiciness was just irresistible. So I'm like eager to get into this read. Now, I typically do not really look over the cards when I'm shuffling, but honey, the tea, the tea hee hee, I have to get to it. So let's see what in the name of source is going on here. We have a masculine that wants to give an offer or an opportunity to a feminine energy here. Um, this could be someone you may have worked with, someone you had some type of interaction with. It does not have to be a relationship from the past. It's just someone that you, you were either like well acquainted with or you two were briefly acquainted. And maybe they see you as someone that's beneficial to work with. There's an opportunity that was meant for you, but someone else interfered with this opportunity because they wanted it for themselves. This will be this Queen of Wands we're seeing here, this toxic Jizzy Bell. Lord have mercy, this is someone with a lot of issues that has been doing a lot of interferences behind the scenes. This masculine as well could have been married to like a feminine energy that is toxic as well. So this person has been surrounded by a lot of toxic fem feminine energies. Which means this masculine may have a clouded judgment of what a confidence woman is. Let's put it that way. So this person knows that when they give you this opportunity, it's going to enable you to take charge of your life and kind of move forward in life. They are kind of heartbroken about the actions they took against you in the past. Someone betrayed a connection that they had with you. So someone is walking away from a collaboration, basically from an institution, because they are seeing the truth about this institution, or they just don't want to be part of it anymore. It's almost as though it's like you are around a group of people for many years and you all do the same thing um and then you are awakening right to a different way of living and it's quite strange for you it's kind of turning your world upside down let's say you are someone religious since we have the higher fence out here you're someone extremely religious or just someone with a fixed mindset you come across someone that's spiritual that's kind of free with their uh their their expression they live in their truth they're authentic they have this page of cup energy about themselves right and you're just like what an idiot you, you don't think like this person has anything going on upstairs. You see them, they look like they're just out of it all the time or they live in la-la land. But then you start to pick up on the things that this person is doing or saying. You start looking into it and you're like, oh my gosh, this person actually knows quite a lot, right? And then you start indulging in the things that this person is doing. Maybe it's like knowledge and things like that. And a whole new world opens up for you. This is what this masculine is going through. Someone is going through an awakening with this hanging man here. Someone has been challenged by the universe to see things from a higher perspective uh, separate themselves from this toxic institution, group, family dynamic, whatever this is, because this person is becoming a hermit, right? And through them becoming a hermit, they are going to find themselves. There's something in here about a child that's supposed to be born between two people. So this is going to be like a child that rem uh, symbolizes the balance within nature or the balance within the universe. So good and evil, dark and light negative and positive water and earth all the balances this is going to be an extremely powerful and intuitive child this is part of why this two of cups is out here there is supposed to be a child that is born um the other night i had a dream where there was like this unique baby that was born um there were like mermaids in the water and uh, um like fish and stuff just swimming around this baby it was like there was a celebration going on because this baby had been born and it was just a marvelous experience it said you saw all these different like really mystical creatures just around each other and then there was this human baby just there and it was just it was really it was really interesting i'm not going to say weird because I'm, I consider myself to be weird and it's not a bad thing, but it was a very unique experience when I saw this baby and there was something going on with the baby's um, uh, umbilical cord. Um, it's like it was really long. It was outside, like the baby had been born, right? And the baby was floating in the water. Um, but the baby's 
umbilical cord was very long, but at the end of the cord, it was knotted up and there was a fish at the very end of that knot trying to nipple, nipple, nipple on the uh, umbilical cord that knot, right? And it was just really weird. And I saw the queen like of the mermaid colony or whatever they would call them. And she was like so happy about this baby being born. Um, people were coming to like the river or the lake or whatever their body of water was to give things. It was it was like a celebration going on. It was just a a unique experience. I keep being tempted tempted to say weird, but it was a unique experience. So there is a baby that's going to be born, and it's going to be a very powerful baby. It's like there's a I don't like to use this word a lot to describe these types of masculines, but it's like a warlord and a high priestess or a empress or a star seed will be coming together to have a baby that's going to be extremely powerful in their are efforts being made behind the scenes to block this union from coming into place just so they can block this baby from being born, right? So there's a lot of efforts going on around, but behind the scenes to block this union from coming together because people don't want this baby being born because of the gifts, abilities, talents, and skills this baby is going to have. Um, and the fact that I was able to see that baby, I was like, oh, wow, thank you for trusting me with this information. That is very beautiful. But let's go ahead and get back into our reading. This person is going through a change, honey. And they don't even know what to do with themselves. It's like flipping someone's world upside down. And it's just like chaos. It seems chaotic for them. They're just, they can't get a grip of anything. Nothing is making sense to them anymore. It's like someone thinking you're dumb for like years or months or weeks only to find out that you are actually very smart and now they have to reprogram their mind to see you in a different light because you know things that they don't know and they want to know the things you know so they want to get closer to you but they may have done something to you where you don't even want to be around this person some of you may find this person repulsive and things like that i highly i hardly ever find anyone repulsive um i think that's a very strong word i can be disappointed in people but to find them repulsive is a little bit too extreme i'm very forgiving if you ever get to meet me like i'll forgive you for something before you even ask for forgiveness but it's the forgetting part that who that i need to work on so anyways i'm working on it folks please just just give me time anyways this person's word is being turned upside down. They're going through some type of ending. Um, they want to make an offer to you because they know they caused you a lot of stress, a lot of heartache, a lot of loss because of actions they took in the past against you without having all of the information that they needed to move forward with this collaboration that they took partook in with a group of people. Someone knows that you are gifted. Someone knows you're intuitive, you're spiritual. They are learning to not have a problem with that spirituality aspect of you and I don't really think it matters to you whether they accept it or not because that's not your place to care about people accepting you if you're like myself that's not our job to do I don't get paid for caring what people think think of me um as long as I'm kind to you that's all that matters to me um but it's like this person wants a second chance with you so they may be advocating for you behind the scenes they are correcting their wrongs or this is what's coming up okay for some of you, like content creators, there are people behind the scene blocking your content, right? Um, kind of like with mine, there's someone messing with my, my numbers and things like that. And things like that, I don't really let like, get to me because it is what it is. We are always going to have people that are there to be toxic. Uh, we are always going to have people that are just behind on their healing journey. So they think that they can steal from other people. But I already know how this situation is going to end. So I'm not losing any sleep over it. However, I do just make sure to keep an eye on my platform because I've had people try to shut down my platform do all types of silly things on there it is what it is at the end of the day i'm happy with myself if you're happy with yourself living like that kudos to you some of us when we leave this planet there are going to be statues and mirrors built of us and whereas others of you when you leave this planet no one's going to miss you people are going to be happy that you're gone because of the amount of toxic toxic energy that you spilled into their lives right so there's a difference Hopefully one day that'll sink in and you'll start doing, making better choices in life. Um, but this person is advocating for you behind the scenes or they may just be stepping up to tell the truth, to bring light to the truth, right? 
someone is also going to sit back and kind of just let London Bridge fall because they're seeing things for what they are. They know how committed people are to blocking this opportunity from coming towards you. And they just, they just might be sitting back and letting people do what they want to do because they know it's going to end up biting them in the behind. Someone here who is part of an institution, they could, this could be like a governmental figure. Like the PI thing has been popping up a lot in my readings. So there could be someone here who's a PI, FBI, something of that nature. Uh, um, that's very intuitive. This is someone very gifted, but they don't really show it. This is someone that hides this about themselves. I've met someone like this before at one of my jobs. And this was like a, a masculine that came to my job. He like he was my supervisor, of course. Um, and when I saw him, it's like I read this man like at the door. I mean, I didn't see him at the door, but like, you know, like when you first meet people, that's what I mean. Like I saw him and I was just like, oh, okay, there's something with him. This is not who he is. There's something else going on there. But immediately when I met this man, I said, oh, he has the spirit of discernment. So he's gifted. But he would act like he didn't know like what I was saying. And I mentioned it one day and he acted like he didn't know what I was saying. I said, sir, please. I was born with my eyes open. I know there's something up to you. And he tried to give me some type of foolish spirit, uh, story about something else that he has going on. The side. I said, sir, I'm not believing that. But I'm not going to say that because you're my supervisor. But okay. We're going to go with the story you're saying, right? So this is one of those situations. Someone could be a PI. Someone could be like an investigator that is very intuitive. And he's starting to utilize these gifts and things like that to solve a case that he's working on. Or to bring balance into a situation because he knows that you end up losing quite a lot due to the actions these people took against you. This institution, you went through some type of heavy betrayal that was not well deserved. You didn't do anything to deserve this. But there is someone that's going through a heavy betrayal as well. Or someone is betraying an institution. Or this is how they're going to see it. They're going to see it as this masculine betraying them because he's taking charge of his life to take a new path. Right. So they want him to stay in toxicity. They don't want him changing. They don't want him growing. That's when you know people are not good for you. They don't have good intentions for you. It's when you start to make good changes in your life, then they start going up against you and start discouraging you from making those changes in life. Right. So this masculine is going through a very heavy change and it's quite okay. All right. Uh, so this person may have ended up with, with a queen of wands that is not mentally stable. This is someone that has quite a lot going on. This woman is extremely toxic. This could be someone that's into like black magic, might even have an altar. This is someone that misrepresents herself acts like she knows quite a lot. This is someone that pretends to be wise, right? This could be someone that even pretended to be something to violate someone else's privacy. It's almost as though like someone knows you and this masculine is interested in working with you, but they want the masculine to work with them. So they want to prove to this masculine that you are not who you say you are and you don't deserve the opportunity. They deserve the opportunity. So then they start doing malicious things behind the scenes, breaking laws and things like that, having your uh, uh, privacy being looked into because they're so stern that you are not who you say you are, right? Um, this is also like a woman or just someone wanting to prove that you're not who you are, but then they look into your life and they don't find anything that they can hold against you. But then because they don't find anything, they get desperate. So they start breaking laws and things like that because they're so stern that they deserve the opportunity that this person wants to give you. So they don't mind breaking laws to do that. Uh, this masculine also may be trapped in some type of toxic union with this person or a wife figure. There's someone he's trapped with or someone that's trying to trap him in a union. Um, and it's just not going to go as she's planning. I think this person is kind of just done. This woman may want to come pick a fight with you. Someone is watching you. This could be the one that's interfering with your work, your forward movement. If you have a social media content, for some of you, this could be the feminine energy behind the scenes messing with your work. Um, honey, you're going to be losing quite a lot of money. Every time you mess with this person's, this star sees work, you're going to be losing finances. Either your husband will be losing finances or you'll be losing finances every single time. Um, let's see how long you'll keep this up. So 
this woman wants to come in and pick a fight with you. She's she's watching you, but she know you're you're not the one, the two, nor the three, or anything else. Um, but it's that she's trying to get a reaction out of you. She's told people you're toxic, you're this and you're that. But everything she's doing behind the scenes, you're not responding. It's like someone creating fake profiles. And I always use social media uh, as an example because obviously I'm a social media content creator, right? So it's only logical to use that example. So it's like someone creating pro fake profiles to stalk you online. They put like childish stuff under your videos and things like that. Hoping that you will respond to it so that they can show this masculine. See, I told you she was insecure. I told you she was immature. Not realizing like the very fact that you or the very act of you creating a fake profile to taunt someone on social media or online is immature and exposing who you are even more to this masculine right? It just lets the person know that you, yes, you are very toxic and I need to get away from you as far as possible. With all of the tactics this woman is carrying out, you're staying calm. You're not reacting to her BS. You see her for exactly who she is. You stay calm in this whole ordeal. You're not picking fights with people. You're not making calls, yelling at people, doing anything. You're just kind of in your own world. You're living in your truth, educating yourself and things like that. Um, and while she's out here feeling entitled to what belongs to you, it's like this woman feels entitled to this masculine, like she feels like he belongs to her simply because he's wealthy. Let's make it make sense. It's not that she loves him. It's not that she cares about him. It's just because he has wealth. He has connections. He has resources. She wants to be with him. So she's very determined to defeat you. Uh, and to block you two from coming together. This is a union that's coming across at its being, it, as it's meant to be. I'm sorry that wasn't coming out like I wanted it to. But this union is meant to be. This person is having a lot of like fantasies and things like that about you. Someone is very heartbroken about an uh, action they took against you. Like a, there's some type of secret this person is going to have to reveal to you about something they did. They did to you in regards to your work, your forward movement, things like that. They may have done something to block your work, interfere with your work, your finances, your resources and things like that, your privacy, all of that. So they're probably going to have to review all of that to you in order for you to move forward. Someone wants to bring something to your attention as well. Um, and people are doing quite a lot just to block it. It's like it's just coming from a place of animosity and greed. It's not like you did anything to anyone, um, but these people are just stern on blocking your forward movement. And these people could be watching you with this page of source out here. They could literally be watching you on social media, going on about your life, not worry about what's going on with them, but you're the, the hot topic. It's just crazy. You're still taking charge of your life and moving forward. Um, stepping out on a brand new beginning, this offer is still going to make it to you. You're going to have wish fulfillment. You're, you're going to have to put an end to something though, that maybe you hold dear to your heart. Let's say you've been working a nine to five for a long time and you enjoy it. You'll probably have to either end up letting it go so that you can step into this new victory of yours, this new life of abundance and things like that. Like you have victory coming in. It's going to put you in a very solid place in life. You're being seen as the queen of pentacles, which means that you are someone nurturing, someone kind, um, down to earth, family focused. You're focused on your pentacles and things like that. You're very stern in life, but in a good way, right? You, there may be some traveling coming up for you. You may end up having to travel to this masculine or he may have to travel towards you. But as you can see, we have the two of cups out here, which means that you two will be working together. Um, you two may end up meeting. This is something these people are going to try to prevent. The messages are being interfered with, with, with a lot of you starseeds. It's like people know what's coming to you before you know. So they're taking actions ahead of time to block communications from coming in. But it's still going to come in someone is very however this masculine is very determined to make you this offer but this person is like really worried 
that you don't have any fond memories of them anymore. This is why we have the Six of Cups out here. Because of something they did, this person is worried that you don't see them as genuine. You may not want to connect with them anymore. You may be disgusted about the things they did to you in the past. Some of you are aware of the things these masculines did. And others of you, you're not aware. But when they come into your energy, they're going to have to confess um, what they did to you and you will decide if you want to move forward or not. But someone does want to come in and genuinely give to you. It's like they're compensating you for a loss or something. Initially, they wanted to come in to cause you some type of illusion, but they're not doing that anymore. They're coming in with a straight story, right? They're headed in the right direction, which is what Spirit is telling them that they're doing the right thing. It's going to be okay, but someone here has a lot of anxiety or they have a lot of mental conflict that they deal with. Um, the fact that the fact that we have the Knight of Pentacles out here with this uh, 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 Knight of Swords that lets me know that someone has a lot of mental conflict that they deal with on a regular basis. It's not something that's spontaneous. This is someone that thinks and thinks and thinks. They overthink everything. Um, they ponder and ponder everything. Like they sometimes things hunt them, right? And sometimes. They think so much about everything. If I say think and think every, again, honey, it's going to drive me nuts. But they ponder so much on things that sometimes they end up losing out on opportunities because they're so scared to make a move, right? Um, but this person is coming in with a genuine offer. They're in the right direction. You're headed in the right direction. You two will meet when you're supposed to. Uh, someone is taking charge to come towards you. They're taking uh, uh, the opportunity to go in for it. So regardless of the fact that they are afraid of how you're going to see them or how, you, how you're going to respond to them, they are still moving forward. They're still taking the opportunity and going for it and coming towards you to clear things up with you, possibly to apologize or to bring something to your awareness for some of you so that you can take the necessary actions to move forward right? There's a king of pentacles. Maybe this person is a king of pentacles. Um, he sees you as the truth. This person is also starting to embrace their spiritual side. You know, the king of pentacles, there are people that are down to earth and things like that. Um, but they don't tend to live in like the spiritual aspects of themselves. They tend to be more so in like the material realm, right? But this person is starting to see the truth uh, accept his spiritual side or he's learning to accept this about you. It's like someone does not want you to change. You two could have met and maybe you were just a little bit too much for them. And they're like, oh no. When he saw you, he was probably like, oh heck no. Uh-uh. Nope. But then there is an experience that this masculine has had where now he appreciates you for who you are. Exactly as you are. I hear someone saying, nope. She's fine just the way she is. I don't need her to change or he's fine the way he is. I don't need him to change. It ain't nothing wrong with her. It ain't nothing wrong with him. I like him. I like her just the way they are. Okay. Someone knows you are feisty as heck, but they're here for it. You could end up balancing this person out because sometimes the king of pentacles can be people that are a little bit uh, vulnerable, like people take advantage of them, like getting resources out of them, whereas you are showing up here as a page of swords, so you're a little bit of a feisty firecracker, so you're going to bring balance into this masculine's life, and this could have been something that these people were intimidated by because they knew you were going to get this masculine, the 411 on everybody in their life. There's something here about this masculine's mother, uh, some type of feminine energy in his life, that may not care too much for you because you know a little bit too much. It's that you are extremely intuitive and she knows the moment you come into this person's life, the games are over. But you are stepping into a brand new beginning. This masculine is going to take the chance to either meet with you, connect with you so that he can give you this opportunity and get you out of the cold so you can have a fresh start in life, walk through brand new doors, have chances and new opportunities and things like that. This person is hoping that whatever this is, he's extending to you is going to manifest into something grand for the both of you, not just you. He's hoping that he's making the right decision, but I think he knows that spirit is telling him that he has made the right decision by giving you this offer. You're being seen as someone calm, someone courageous, someone very committed to your work. Um, you're someone that deserves to live in a, a, a 
live the best, have the best in life because you work for what it is that you want, right? You could be a student at something right now, but you're going to, you know, uh, 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 let, let, let's just put it this way. You're going to graduate, okay? Let's say for me, for example, with tarot, I'm gifted, but I'm not as skilled as I would like to be, so I'm still a student, a student at tarot, right? I'm gifted in the sense that I have visions, I have all the clairvoyances and things like that. Um, I have all the clairs, so um, I can hear, see, touch, all of that, smell, and a lot of my messages that I give are things that are given to me by spirit, right? Um, but now I'm working on the skill aspect of that, like the actual practical side of that so that I can have both and make myself a powerhouse basically, right? Um, so you may be working on something where you are still learning and that's okay. Um, this masculine is willing to invest in you or to work with you, give you the necessary resources so you can become a master at your craft basically or your business to help your business explode and things like that. So it's absolutely beautiful. You have a commitment that's coming in. Someone is very much uh, uh, bitter about this for lack of a better term. Someone is still standing their ground to fight you for this, even though they've been rejected. It's kind of like a masculine telling you, no, I don't want to be with you. I don't like you. But you're saying, but you tell them, yeah, you do. Um, What? Like, you don't need to tell me you don't want me more than once. One time is enough. As a matter of fact with me, you don't even have to tell me the moment I sniff in the air that you don't. Goodbye. Yeah, uh-uh. I, I, no, I don't like to force myself on people and we should not feel the need to force ourselves on people, right? So there could be a Scorpio in here. Um, the Scorpios, honey, when Scorpios come on the scene, there's always some type of change that people are trying to avoid. Birth, death, re oh my, rebirth. Oh my gosh. When Scorpios come on the scene, you already know there's some some type of change that you've been avoiding. There's a life-changing event that's about to take place, and this is what's going on for this masculine. It's like one aspect of his life is dying, and he is desperately trying to hold on to it, but the Scorpio in this situation is like, give that to me, like ripping it out of his hand. It's like, this is over. Like, let it go. There's something brand new coming. I know you don't want to go through all these emotions right now. You don't want to go through all of these changes right now, but it's necessary for your growth. So it's time to let go. Scorpios, Lord Jesus, have mercy. Anyways, this change, this action that this masculine is wanting to take, this change they're going through is causing this ma masculine a heartache, a headache. This person is not getting enough sleep. Okay, um, there's something here too about two masculines competing for the same woman. It's that one is worried about the other masculine making a move on you or something like that. It's like these two are friends, right? And you may be closer to one than the other. And the one that is farther away from you is very worried that the one that's closer to you is going to make some type of move. Okay, it's like this is between a king of pentacles and an emperor. The emperor is going through some type of heartbreak right now. He may have just gotten out of some type of relationship that was not fulfilling for him. And maybe he wants to connect with you, have some type of victory with you in love and things like that. This is someone that sees you as very genuine, someone down to earth. Like he sees you as innocent. You like you have like a pure energy about you that this emperor really loves. Like, you bring light into his life. It's how he's seeing you. You bring positivity. Like, you're like a pure spirit is what I just heard. This is how this emperor sees you. Um, but I think he's worried that you're not going to see him the same way. So he's also afraid to reach out to you. Or because he's going through some type of heartbreak, he's taking things a little slow right now. Right? Taking it easy. But this emperor does not want to rush things with you. He wants to take it take he wants to take things nice and slow, get to know you, know who you are before he commits to you. That's how most emperors are. They don't just move recklessly. Everything is planned for them. They don't like disappointments, so they have to make sure before they take action that all the T's are crossed and all the I's are dotted 
because they hate disappointment, right? True emperors, of course, not the pretentious ones. Um, anyways, someone here is going through a betrayal. We have like a knight of swords out here. This could be someone reckless from your past and things like that that wants to come in to cause you some type of confusion, prevent, present you with some type of false love opportunity, whatever this is. You're not interested. This person is seeing you as the truth now. They may be dreaming about you quite a lot. You don't care. You've moved on with your life. Oh, Lord, honey, I'm talking like I know what you want. <laughs> I'm talking like I know what you want or what's best for you, but I'm just assuming that you don't want to go to your past. I'm just assuming that you want to move forward. This energy that this Knight of Swords is coming in with, we're not here for it. Um, it's like someone didn't see your value in the past. They didn't see your worth and things like that. But now that they know you are uh, someone that is going to be either abundant or prosperous in life or maybe whatever they left you for they didn't work out now they see you as their dream woman or their dream man you don't care about stuff like that you have moved on you are being seen as a blessing the truth you know all of this masculine see in you what it is they want in their partners and things like that you're showing up as a, a nurturing mother a friend a, com a, a companion things like that someone someone hard working someone genuine um so it could be that a lot of these masculines have never really been in genuine relationships and things like that um and maybe you brought that into their lives in some way shape or form it does not mean that you are dating these people it just means that you awaken something within them that was never awakened by someone else right so you're going to be receiving some type of it's not a, a financial payout but it's going to be something one of these masculines or an institution is going to give you to bring balance back into your life because you could have lost quite a lot due to actions these people took against you. And for me, example, you know, uh, my platform, the, whoever you are, they keep playing with it. I want you to know every time you mess with my platform, you're going to lose money. You may end up losing your job too, okay? Since we want to play around, let's play around that way, okay? I'm the one with the authority to call things into existence and to manifest. So since you want to play around with my platform, losing your finances. Um, so this institution may be coming up with some type of plan to interfere with you as well, to keep interfering with your forward movement, to keep interfering with this connection. But these people are disappointed. It's that whatever plan they come up with, it's not working. It's not working. It's not going to work. It's like they come up with something, they do it, and then they celebrate real quickly, and then the celebration dies out. Before they realize it, they're back at step one. And they said, um, I thought we succeeded at preventing them from getting together. It's like, no. Everything happens in divine timing. I don't understand how uh, dark workers never understand that. Everything happens in divine timing. So there's really nothing you can do to prevent destiny. No one is more powerful than destiny. You cannot outrun, outrun or outdo destiny. Hear the word itself, destiny, destined. That means it has already happened somewhere in the universe and it's, it's going to uh, connect with you basically. It has already happened, okay? It's like these people, no matter what actions they take against you, they're planning to come, against, they're planning to come towards you to cause you heartache but you're still remaining calm. Someone knows that you don't really have time for the BS. Like, you're mature as heck. You're focused on your pentacles while these people are out here doing nonsense, acting like children and things like that, or because they don't want two people coming together. They don't want you receiving an opportunity. They want one of their toxic members to have this opportunity, even though they wouldn't even know what to do with it. Someone here calls you a witch a lot for some of you. They're like, oh, she's a witch. He's a witch. He's probably doing spells to manipulate you. Don't go to them. We think this Jessie Bell is the one you should give this offer to. Don't do it. We're telling you don't do it. You're going to regret it if you go towards that star sea. They're pretending to be something they're not. But it's like the truth has been seen. 
let people see the truth for what it is like you cannot hide the truth once it's exposed like a lie will travel very fast far it will travel far but the truth will always prevail and you never have to pull any tricks to prove the truth it will always prevail right um there's something about this queen of wands that someone needs to look into this woman is into some illegal activities Someone has been doing quite a lot behind the scenes and she's been forced to walk away. It says someone was doing things behind the scenes to have a star see living in fear, anxiety, like and things like that, interfering with someone's finances, connections, and things of that nature. And they're being forced to walk away. And you showing up here, Star C, as the Queen of Wands means that you faced your fears and you still decided to keep moving forward in life. You're not someone superficial. This, this Queen of Wands is extremely superficial, but she's losing quite a lot as well at the same time. And that's because she's losing this connection with this masculine or to this masculine. This was like her her bread and butter. She was, she was milking this sucker. She was milking him. Lord have mercy. Why do some of us have morals? Like, why can't I just forget my morals for one second so I can have... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But sis is having to walk away. <laughs> but she's stubborn. She's going to keep fighting to prevent you two from connecting, from this message making it to you. Someone is interfering with communications. And they've been doing it for a while. And it's going to come back to hunt them in the behind. Okay? Yeah, someone is going within about a toxic connection with this woman, with this group of people. And they are choosing to move on because they want to have a brand new passionate beginning either in love in work in business with you and this is exactly what's going to happen so this person is going for it and that is extremely beautiful and there will be success in this okay someone just needs to be patient and realize that things will work out maybe things seem a little bit confusing right now you may not understand what's going on in your life or the masculine that's going through this awakening, but things are happening like they're supposed to. So there's nothing you really need to worry about. Everything is going to be successful, whoever you are. So anyways, stay blessed. Goodbye for now.